Welcome to Make Your Day Count. I'm Lindsay Roberts, and today, let's make our day count. Why do you always say that? Why not? Why should we say let's fail today? Let's be miserable. This is the day the Lord didn't make, so let's not rejoice and let's be miserable. I don't want to do that. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm here to rejoice and to be glad in it and to praise the Lord and to lift up the name of Jesus and to expect a miracle. Why? Because it's in the Bible. I realize that the world is doing this and that, but I'm in the world, but the Bible says I'm not of the world. You are of God, little children, and greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. So knowing that verse, 1 John 4, 4, I've been talking about stirring up your most holy faith, scriptural, from the inside out. A lot of times we process things by what we see, what we look at, how we feel, what just happened, how our thoughts are, but you know what? One day, the Lord spoke to me in my heart, just as clear as a bell, like ding, ding, ding. And he got my attention by saying, you need to live from the inside out. Now, I didn't get it. And so I'm gonna say it to you again, and I'm hoping you get it from what I didn't get. Living from the inside out means you start in your spirit, man. You stir up your most holy faith. You believe what the Word of God says. You get it processed. You make that your mindset, your miracle mindset. You put that in your mind, your will, your emotions, your spirit, man. And while you do that, then whatever happens throughout the day, you've already set in motion the mindset to expect a miracle. Expect, 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 expect. Expect, expect, expect a miracle. Oral Roberts, my father-in-law, used to say to Richard and me, you're not saying it enough. Saying what enough? Expect a miracle. So I'm gonna say it to you more, expect a miracle. How do you do that? That is knowing who Christ is, centering yourself on the inside through your most holy faith and expecting a miracle on the inside. And as you walk out the day, you process it throughout the day. I am expecting a miracle with you from the inside out. And I'm so excited today to talk to you about three things. Three, uh, see I said two, three things. See, it's a miracle, I got all three. Discover Your True Worth, my brand new book called Discover Your True Worth. The second thing is my sticky tab that says faith forgiveness forward faith forgiveness forward and then the third thing is florence chadwick my brand new book discover your true worth faith forgiveness and forward and and florence chadwick what does that mean there's a chapter in my brand new book about florence chadwick and i can't wait to tell you about her faith forgiveness and forward something Tim Story, one of the endorsers of this book, one of my dear friends, I've known Tim for many, many years, decades actually. And he talked about this book and used the words faith, forgiveness, and forward. And I'll tell you what, I believe he has hit the core of what this book is all about. And I want to, I, I just, I want to talk to you about moving forward. So I pray it's a blessing to you. For information on this book, if you want to order it, 844-828-1412, 844-828-1412 for your best seed faith gift. What's your best seed faith gift? That's up to you. That's between you and our Heavenly Father. And whatever you feel like sowing into the ministry for your Discover Your True Worth, I'll even take my sticky tab off of it. For Discover Your True Worth, 844-828-1412. I believe it will be a blessing to you. I certainly pray that as I wrote it, you have to know Richard typed it. And as he was typing it and I was writing it, we were laying hands on every sheet of paper, every manuscript, every time he typed, every computer, expecting a miracle. So that's my prayer for you today. And we're gonna get started in just a minute talking about faith, forgiveness, forward, and expecting a miracle in Jesus' name. Stay tuned, we're gonna be right back. My beautiful Jordan is going to sing. You are justice. For every confession, your forgiveness. For every oppression, you are beauty, goodness, faithful, you are love. You are healing for every sickness, you are power in every weakness, you are mighty. thirsty 
Discover Your True Worth, Becoming the Woman God Created You to Be is now available to order. It's for anyone who has ever feared, fallen, risked, failed, or been through any of life's challenges. You may think there's no way God can use you, but Lindsay shows how his power is made perfect in your weakness, and it can help you be all that God has called you to be. Here are just a few of the endorsements. Kenneth Copeland writes, this book is wonderful and powerfully anointed. Discover Your True Worth is a must read. Bishop T.D. Jakes writes, I see the message in Discover Your True Worth. It is one that will guide women who are on the journey to becoming all that God created them to be. And Kay Robertson, matriarch of the Robertson family writes, Lindsay encourages us to discover who we are, who we are made in the image of and what our useful purpose is. Lindsay has written this book to help you discover who you are in Christ and to show you ways to become the woman God created you to be. To request Lindsay's book, Discover Your True Worth, just go to oralroberts.com slash bookstore or call 1-844-828-1412. forgiveness and going forward. We all need faith in our personal life. We all need forgiveness, but we also need to learn to go forward. This is what you're going to get from this great book. Lindsay Roberts is a dear friend, and she has written a book that will change our lives. A lot of faith, a lot of forgiveness, and how to go forward. You're going to love her story. Follow Lindsay Roberts and get her book where books are sold everywhere. Very special thanks to Tim Story for that. I want you to listen carefully to what he said. Faith, forgiveness, and moving forward. Faith, forgiveness, and moving forward. I want to read you something he said about this book, and then I want to talk to you about you. In a time when many people seek their sense in a let's read that again. In a time when many people seek their sense of worth from the number of followers on social media, Lindsay Roberts has written what I believe to be a life-altering book that shifts the focus to what's truly important. I really want us today during this program to think about shifting our focus 
What a word. Hold on, let's finish. She unveils through amazing stories and wisdom that God's opinion of you makes other people's opinions secondary. I believe this book to be a guide to true greatness. Sometimes we are only one generation away from eternal change. Wow, what words. And I feel this book can bring that kind of change to women everywhere and truly transform a person, a family, and even a generation desperate for approval. Tim's story. Tim and I go back many years. I've known him for many, many years. I've known him, like I said, a couple of decades. And Tim has always done one thing for me and one thing for my family, and that is encourage us. He is an uplifter, an encourager, an exhorter. He is the kind of person that if you need someone to just brighten your day, brighten your spirits and lift you up, that's Tim. And he did that post for me um, a while ago. And on it, he talked about faith, forgiveness, and moving forward. I wanna read you something from this book that I believe is transforming. Um, Chapter three, page 27, let's find that like this. Chapter three, page 27. And in it is a story I wrote called Little Florence, Big Dreams. Little Florence, Big Dreams. It's about a woman by the name of Florence Chadwick who was a swimmer. She had decided in her lifetime she wanted to swim the English Channel. And, and you know what? She set that goal, did it, and swam backwards and forwards and all kinds of amazing record-breaking stories about her swimming. So Florence had decided that she lived in California and in Southern California, she wanted to swim the shoreline from uh, Southern California to what is called Catalina Island. Now it's an amazing swim, not like swimming the English Channel, but there were interesting difficulties along the way, including sharks. So what they did was set up boats along the way and her mother was even in one of the boats. And as she began to swim, she would go to Catalina and then getting ready to go back and seeing the shoreline, she had kind of calculated in her mind what everything would be right down to, how long it would take, what she needed to do, the sharks, the this, the that. What she didn't factor in was something called fog, real, honest, earthly fog. And all of a sudden she just lost everything and kind of, ah, and made this signal to get her into a boat. And she picked the boat that her mother was in. And when she got into the boat, her mother said, you know, were there sharks? Did something attack you? Is something wrong? Are you sick? Are you hurt? What's going on? She said, no. She said, with the fog, I just completely lost sight of the finish line. I didn't know where I was. Story goes that she was almost to the finish line, almost to her goal. She had just come short of her goal and it was right in front of her. But the fog took over her vision. The fog, the incidents of the fog took over her vision. How many, of, how many of us have allowed the fog to be the incident that takes over our vision? You've prepared, you've done something fabulous like she did swimming the English Channel, you've had successes, you've set out your goal, you know exactly what you're gonna do, you've prepared, you've planned, you've done everything you can think of, and then something simple, some unexpected whatever comes along and disrupts. For Florence Chadwick, it was something as simple as she had faced all the time, fog, but it caused her to lose sight of her goal. Now, what happened? Faith, forgiveness, forward. Let's talk about the forward part. Not about the faith, not about the forgiveness, but let's talk about the forward part with Florence Chadwick. Instead of saying, this is just ridiculous, I'm embarrassed, I'm tired, I'm humiliated, or I'm mad, I'm upset, I can't believe I was so close, you know, I, I miss it by this much. And instead she said, no, she, she saw it as another opportunity to swim. She just saw it as another opportunity to get in the water. And she did, and she did, and she did, over and over. Again, more record-breaking swims for Florence Chadwick. And I want to talk to you today about just what Tim said, faith, forgiveness, and moving forward. Now, you may have wonderful faith. Have the God kind of faith. Have faith in God. God's given to every person the measure of faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. Wahoo! Praise the Lord. Got that first check off the box. Faith. And the second part, forgiveness. 
Maybe that's something you just can't check off the box. But God said, when you do not forgive, neither can your Father in heaven forgive you your trespasses. So I want to ask you this. Have you really, as the Bible says, checked your heart? Now, I did once, and the Lord told me, check my heart. And he said, can you forgive that person? And my honest answer was, no. I'm not going to lie to God. I'm not going to lie to myself, and I'm certainly not going to lie about the situation. God said, can you forgive them? And I said, no. And he really tried to, I guess, wear me down on my thinking and my most holy faith and my persistence. But my answer was still no. And then God so sweetly spoke to my heart and got my attention. And he said, do you believe that I can forgive them? I said, of course. I can do that much. I can believe that you're Jesus. You went to the cross. You said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. And he said, what about the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13? I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I was so sweetly and genuinely convicted that I recognized maybe in my own strength I couldn't do it. But if I believe Philippians 4, 13 through 19, I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength, I knew I could do it. And I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, I forgive this person through Christ who will give me the strength to do what I need to do. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, it was really something. Something lifted off me. Something lifted off me. The person didn't get off the hook. The person didn't change instantly. I didn't receive some monumental phone call. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I've changed. I'll never do it to anyone else again. I didn't have any of that. What happened was I got off the hook. It changed me. That person, to my knowledge, has never changed. To my knowledge, has never come to me and said they, they are sorry. To my knowledge, um, they may be doing it to somebody else and I don't know. But God let me off the hook because I released it through Christ who gives me strength and I made a conscious decision to let it go. I don't know if it changed the other person. No idea. I have no way of contacting the other person that I know of. But it changed me. It let me off the hook, so to speak. What hook are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about anything that's a barrier between me and my Father God. If Father God and I are on the outs, or if I've done something that has, has not been in harmony or in line with Father God, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world, but it means I have to forgive. And then I ask Father God to forgive me. What's the Lord's Prayer? Give us our, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. It's kind of twofold. And if I wasn't going to do my part, how could I expect God to do his part? At first, it felt like lip service. But I really meant it through Christ who would give me the strength. I believed the Bible that Christ would give me the strength. And when I said that, something lifted. I've never heard from the person again. Don't know if I ever will. And you know what? It doesn't matter because I have given it to God and I've allowed God to release it off of my account. Did it change the pain? Did it change all that? It didn't mean I approved of what they did. It didn't mean I approved of them. It meant I forgave them and I was scripturally obedient. And if you need that, and if that fits your little category and you need to check that little box, I want to encourage you, Philippians 4, 13 through 19. Start with Philippians 4, 13. The last part is moving forward. I believe that when we ask Father God, old things can become, as the Bible says, passed away, and behold, all things become new. Isaiah 43, 18, 19, it's in the book. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Shall you not know it? I'll make a way in your wilderness and rivers in your desert. That shall you not know it part means you could miss it. I could miss it. The Message Bible is, is so precious in the way it, it is written, <laughs> but it's kind of blunt. It said, forget about it. <laughs> Sometimes it's not that easy to forget about it, but I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. And that strength is to let uh, allow God to give God the, 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 the ability. He already has it, but now he wants us to allow him to remember not the former things. He knows how to do that. Neither consider the things of old. He knows that that's our part. But then he said, behold, I'll do a new thing. That's his part. 
allow God to do a new thing. When we forget the past, does it mean you can forget every little detail and situation? No, but I think we can release the pain of the past. That's me, I'm speaking of me. In the book, I was speaking of an incident that happened to me. If we allow God to do a new thing, I believe that's how we can move forward. And remember, it's through Christ who gives us strength. Some days in the situation, I've talked about it in the book, in the situation I faced, I couldn't put one foot in front of the other. In fact, I couldn't put one foot down, let alone one foot in front of the other and move forward. I was not moving backwards. I was not moving forward. I was cemented in pain. But God, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I pray for you right now. I pray for you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet to listen to what Tim's story said, to operate in faith, to forgive, and to expect God to move you forward. I pray for you to operate in faith. God's given to every person the measure of faith. It's the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things you've not yet seen. I pray for God to help you to forgive through Christ who gives you the strength. And I pray for you to move forward in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I want you to get your copy of the book, Discover Your True Worth for your best seed faith gift into the ministry, 844-828-1412. 844-828-1412. And I'd like you to stay tuned. We're gonna be right back. For any person who has ever suffered, if you're hurting, if you've been hurting, if you don't know a way out, the book is for you to find a compass that will point you to Jesus. Lindsay's brand new book, Discover Your True Worth, Becoming the Woman God Created You to Be, is now available to order. I walk people through what I consider to be God ideas of how to get from where you are and at least get on the path of discovery to discover that you really are valuable. You're created in God's image. You're made in the imagination of God. You're made in the image of Christ. You may think there's no way God can use you, but Lindsay shows how his power is made perfect in your weakness, and it can help you be all that God has called you to be. So if I can find a neutral ground that will bring something out in somebody to say, I can do that, I can fix that, I can become that, and I can be that encourager through this book, I'm on board for that. That's why I wrote it. To request Lindsay's book, Discover Your True Worth, just go to oralroberts.com slash bookstore or call 1-844-828-1412. Lindsay has written this book to help you discover who you are in Christ and to show you ways to become the woman God created you to be. You know, I wrote this book out of my heart but I had someone say to me very, very recently, she felt like it filled a void. That may be the best explanation that I didn't even think of myself, but it's to fill a void. Richard and Lindsay Roberts have been our friends for many, many years, such great people. I'm excited about Lindsay's new book, Discover Your True Worth, Becoming the Woman God Created You to Be. Lindsay is an amazing author, and speaker, communicator. I know this book will bless you and inspire you, so I hope you'll pick up a copy for you and a friend. Be blessed today. wondering why am I over on the set of our other television program, The Place for Miracles, and why am I standing in front of a cross when I was just over at Make Your Day Count set talking about something else? Because you know what? What I said earlier in the program that my father-in-law, uh, kind of really what I'm going to say is commissioned us to talk about expecting a miracle more than we normally do. He said, the more you talk about it, the more it's in the forefront of people's minds. And I wanna say this to you, expect, expect, expect a miracle. Why the cross? Well, if that wasn't the place for miracles, I don't know what was. When Jesus went to the cross and cut a new covenant, shed his blood for our salvation and healing, to me, more than any event in the history of the earth before, now, and to come, is the cross and that is the place for miracles. And I wanna show you why do we have people's prayer requests? Why do you wanna send in a prayer request? You know what my heart's desire is? For that miracle 
REQUEST TO TURN INTO A MIRACLE PRAISE REPORT, FOR THAT PRAYER REQUEST TO TURN INTO A PRAISE REPORT, FOR YOUR PRAYER REQUEST TO TURN INTO A PRAISE REPORT. I TELL YOU, I BELIEVE WITH MY WHOLE SOUL, WITH EVERY FIBER OF MY BEING, THAT MIRACLES, SIGNS AND WONDERS ARE A WAY OF LIFE FOR PEOPLE. JESUS WENT TO THE CROSS. HE WAS THE WONDER-WORKING, MIRACLE WORKER. BUT HE WENT FOR OUR HEALING AND OUR WHOLENESS AND OUR SALVATION. YOU KNOW, THE WORD SOZO, S-O-Z-O, MEANS SALVATION AS WELL AS HEALING. IT'S THE SAME ROOT WORD. IT'S THE SAME GREEK WORD FOR HEALING AS IT IS FOR SALVATION. AND I PRAY RIGHT NOW, FROM THE CROWN OF YOUR HEAD TO THE SOLES OF YOUR FEET, THAT JESUS WOULD INTERVENE WITH DIVINE INTERVENTION FOR A MIRACLE. I WANT YOU TO GIVE US YOUR PRAISE REPORT, YOUR PRAYER REQUEST. AND ONE OF THE THINGS THE LORD TOLD ME, IT WAS, it was ALL AS A RESULT OF A VISION THAT I HAD HAD. AND YOU CAN GO TO OUR WEBSITE, ORALROBERTS.COM, AND SEE THAT WHOLE VISION AS MUCH AS WE'VE PUT UP THERE. BECAUSE THE LORD SHOWED ME, PUT IT ON THE CROSS. TRUST THE WORK OF THE CROSS. PUT IT ON THE CROSS. TRUST the work of the cross. And that's what we're doing. We're taking what God said about, tell people to put their dreams, their hopes, their visions. He even said disappointments. That's a word he used. Maybe you've gone through a, a, a disappointment. Maybe the dream has been dashed by disappointment. Now there's a lot of D's in that word. Your dream has been dashed by disappointments. But instead of having your dream dashed by disappointments, it's time to expect, expect, expect a miracle in the name of Jesus. So that's my prayer for you. If you'd like to send us your prayer requests, we'll put them up on the cross. Our program that we tape right here is called The Place for Miracles. Some of these are in just absolute stacks right here. They're just kind of bound all together in stacks, but the idea is to put it on the cross. And as you give us your prayer request, oralroberts.com slash the cross, oralroberts.com slash the cross. I pray that as we put those up and we pray, people walk by here all the time and we stop. This is a miracle ministry. We believe in miracles. People here pray and expect a miracle. And as we do that, I am praying that your prayer requests very soon turn into praise reports. So oralroberts.com, I pray it's a blessing to you. I pray for you in every area of your life. In Jesus name, amen, 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 and amen. Don't forget my brand new book, Discover Your True Worth. I pray you discover your true worth and you make it count for God today.